What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power and today I have to announce my favorite PC laptop released in 2017 for the blind originally appeared. So there's been a lot of things. There's been the Surface lineup, there's been uh, some Lenovo, uh, Yoga Line, the Y uh, series, the Y720, the Y, uh, the Yoga Line. Uh, there's been some pretty good computers. I've, I've taken my time to look at the specs and look at everything and today I'm going to tell you what computer I think is the best for a blind person. Now visually impaired doesn't really, I mean, eh, I mean you could try to see if you like it, but really this is more for screen reader people who are always on a screen reader, okay? This is because there's two things that made me choose what I wanted to choose, okay? The first thing is you have to be using JAWS or NVDA, I want do those two support touchscreen support, okay? So the screen reader has to have touchscreen support, so so forget window eyes, I think that's, nobody uses that anymore. That doesn't have touchscreen support. Zoom text does, but it's finicky. Magnifier, eh, eh, zoom support with touchscreen is not that great. But screen reader support is great because it's kind of like the uh, voiceover on the iPhone where you swipe left and right, it's the same gestures essentially, right? So I said, okay, well, let's see. If you have an old computer given to you by your DBS or DVR or some counselor, um, and you and you have the money. And you just want to get a new computer. And you want to ask, welcome. And you want to ask them for a specific computer. Um, here's the computer that I recommend. I even looked through the new Macs and everything. And I'm like, it's too expensive. It's too too this. Eh, I, was, I wasn't happy. But then I saw the Surface Pro 4, okay, and the Surface Book, and then I saw the Surface Pro 4. I'm like, yeah, but you have to. But the, the keyboard is. Not right, and, and I looked at the Surface, the new Surface Book, and I'm like, this is it. So, the new Surface Book is great. It's got a soft finish with a keyboard. The keyboard is nice and tough. It's a normal keyboard. It's it's got uh, a lot of gaps between the keys, which makes it comfortable and it makes it easy to feel what keys are where. So it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of labeling when it comes to the tactile. You got the dots for the F and the and, and the uh, J, and you you know you've got pretty cool separations between each key so there's enough travel in the keyboard that you can get around it right that's the first thing i saw i went to the microsoft store and then i, I kind of wavered those two out i'm like yeah okay so the service book is the one that i announced today for 2017 the reason being as i said for the surface book the first factor is the keyboard it's nice and easy to get around okay the trackpad it's there but it's not both so if you, somebody needs to use the mouse you know you don't need to but you know it's there you can feel where it's at so you don't bump into it by mistake that's very important is the last trackpad it's not going to break because it's pretty durable so that's another plus <clears throat> all right and then uh, the keyboard can be taken on and off and it can fold in. it's a very flexible computer okay and why is that important because sometimes blind people will open up the computer and they'll rest the screen all the way on all the way back like they'll they want to just get the screen out of the way and with this computer basically you can do either or you can get the keyboard out of the way or you can just get the screen out of the way um, but you know to get the keyboard you have to like fold it specifically all the way out like a book and then you just touching the keyboard you don't have to worry about the screen the screen's laying flat on the table and if you just want to get rid of the keyboard and just use the touch screen with the screen reader then you essentially just use the touch screen like a tablet and you swipe left and right like you do with an iPhone, you double tap, you you know, etc. You have all the same features uh, with voiceover, but in Windows using JAWS. Um, the latest is going to be 2018, which uh, I can't wait. Let's just say that. And if you have 2018 and you get touchscreen support, man, it's going to be just like voiceover or even better, uh, which is kind of cool. So you'll be able to navigate it like an iPhone, like swiping left and right, so you'll be able to use it as a tablet for nighttime reading with audiobooks and stuff, or you'll be able to use it as a full-blown computer. So that way you don't have to have a computer in an iPad. You could just have this thing, which can be like a tablet and a PC. And it's very durable, and it's, everything is super tactile. The buttons are easy to feel. Everything is super tactile. Even the Microsoft logo is easy to feel. I'm like, I can't believe it. That's pretty cool. So to me, it's the number one best tablet for tablets PC combo I guess all-in-one for the blind 
because of the fact that you know you have the best of both worlds tablet and laptop and sometimes you just need one or another if you have a braille display you know then you don't need the keyboard you could just take the computer with the braille display and you're saving space right the keyboard provides more processing power and more battery but still if you want to do something basic just with your braille display you can take both of them and you can have a lighter package so you know you have a lot of options with this computer um, you can choose if you want to take your keyboard or not or you could just use your braille display there's so many things you can do uh, with the surface book uh, i have the older one and they have the newer one but uh, they're both great so that's it, that's the computer. I say it's the best computer for the blind because of all this uh, tactile uh, ability on the product and the touchscreen support with screen reader. And I mean, this plethora of things I can just go on and on and on. Now, it does have a pen support, but I don't recommend it because JAWS does not support the um, pen. It supports touch, but not pen, which I mean, it thinks it's touch, but it's pen, I guess, if that makes any sense. But still pretty good. The Surface Dial, is compatible as long as you have I think there's a feature where it jumps to whatever is going on it's jump to action uh, and you can turn the surface dial and you can essentially have it talk what you want on the surface dial so it's kind of like a little quick shortcuts knob that you just set on the table and you twist it to for, for volume and stuff if you're just at home or I mean there's so many things you can do with this it's a very modular system so anyway I'm gonna quit rambling on about this I'm just I mean this is a great computer for the blind and visually impaired I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as I enjoyed making it. Comment, rate, subscribe. You know what to do. I will see you in the next video. I hope your first day of 2018 was great. So, I don't know how mine is because I'm in the past. Hello, future me. Hello, future everybody. See you next time.